I'm not gonna go past you. I just want to talk to him. Y'all are a disgrace. That's terrible. That's terrible. What are you trying to hide with this ordinance and all this debate? Ms. Salatel, what are y'all trying to hide with this ordinance? Let's work on the homelessness issues in our community. Let's work on the drug problems in our community. Let's work on the unlawful policing in our community. Pursuant to the Fifth Amendment, I decline to answer your questions. Thank you. Mr. Dunbar, let's address the issues of homelessness in our community and drug and alcohol issues, sir. And stop in fighting, sir. Mr. Rivera, we need to deal with the housing and homelessness problem, the body cameras, the unlawful policing, the drug and alcohol instances that are all over our community, sir. Today was a lot of wasted time and we could better spend our talents. We got a lot of smart people on this body. This is true. This is true. So do we believe that the Tudor and Elmore site is really as designed? Do we believe that the Tudor and Elmore site is really as designed or is the administration playing a bit of a shell game here? Who's the contractor, Dell? Um, so the, the construction manager is Rockwell. And then they have H-I-C-K-E-L, huh? Interesting. All right, sir, have a good evening. Yes, sir. Mr. Branson. Good, good. Miss LaFrance. Um, so we're really concerned about the housing and homelessness issues in our community. Drug and alcohol use, major problem, and uh, unlawful actions by police through mass surveillance and not having body cameras. So we'd like to have those issues in our community addressed prior to spending all of this public time, a lot of papers being printed um, for something that's clearly opposed by the community. You know, the meeting notice Let me see that. Can I see that? Oh, interesting. Wow. Special meeting June 1st. Right there off the website. I'll be able to station grab it. Thank you, Brenda. Wow. Wow. Invalidated meeting. They closed it early. It was it was noted till 11. Notice till 11. Boom. I was about to ask the mayor that if he feels that this might be a violation of the open meetings law. Would you like to ask him that for me? Y'all have every right to peacefully ask questions of your government at all times. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it was in fact noticed till 11, then that seems a little bit concerning. Um,
I, I think the mayor might have to uh, execute some authority here and uh, investigate possibly a willful open meetings violation. Well, that's what I'm, I mean, I'm going to ask because it's bullshit. I mean, we're, we're closing at 10 because we feel like it without voting on it or anything. They just, exactly. I mean, this is what they sent out, so... So let's see. <laughs> so we're here waiting to speak with the mayor. It's about pretty good temperature in this room right now. Actually, literally, not um, just proverbially. Probably about. What would you say, Junior? Is it warm in here right now? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you. You got you got a good smile, my friend. You got a good smile, filled with love, brother. All right, we got to get I'm done. Question. Yeah, quick question, Mr. Mayor. So we all got the thing saying that the time today was from 11 o'clock until 11 o'clock. Uh huh. And then they just closed the meeting at 10 o'clock because they feel like it. Where'd Amy go? I didn't. I didn't. Amy's right there. Hey, Patrick. This meeting said public notice to 11. Yeah. Uh, I saw it at yeah. 10. I haven't posted seen that. On. I hope that we can get to the root of this. I think it's a valid question. That's a really Was this potentially an open meetings law violation? They can adjourn early, but there was no, there was no motion to adjourn. There was no motion. There was That's the only meeting. Yes. So we're still having a meeting. Let's go yeah. take their chair. Well, they have they have two different notices that are different. She's always and then and then there's also none of the notices. I'm gonna have to look at it. I'm gonna get an email. Can we order the assembly members recalled to their seats right now to finish? Can we order them to return to their seats for the next 45 minutes? Yes. Constance, Constance here. Huh? Constance here. Hey, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. 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 Constant, any comment on uh, they don't the meeting have a being noticed anymore. to 11? They don't have a wet quorum anymore. So I would go ask Suzanne. She's the chair. Thank you, Junior. Madam Chair. What time is it currently? Let's just document that for the record. As part of this, it is currently 10, 12, approximately. Just scan it and send it. That's okay. I think this is a weird. You can hang out and watch. Mr. Without the e. uh, Madam Chair, Madam Chair, before you leave, uh, members of the public just had one thing to bring to your attention. So, so we got all we got all notices online that it was until 11, but then your paperwork says it's until 10. So why the discrepancy? discrepancy? Yeah, because I mean, it's, it's, I mean, we were all expecting to be here until 11, and then you guys just like. It's, it's, I would respectfully ask that you recall the assembly members to their seats at this time uh, so that we can continue uh, final audience participation, Madam Chair. Um, this could potentially be an open meetings law violation. 
as it was noticed till 11 on the standard noticing method. Thank you. Remember, two edges to the sword. Where you apply the sharp end, it will be applied back onto you equally. Member Cross, thank you for your excellent yeah, questions you today. Your thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank Member Sewell, thank you for your uh, on-point questions today. Yeah, thank fine. you. So Star Spangled Banner with the little girl, that should have been the end of it. How you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> Ready to dip. I think we got our uh, points taken care of for the evening. So as we can see, it's currently, it'll be 4, 10, 15.